Hello Pisces, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. Uh, this is going to be a soulmate, twin flame, and just sort of a general read Pisces from when I post this through May and beyond, because we know time is an illusion, energy is fluid. Whenever you're drawn to this video is the perfect time for you to listen to it, and you may want to listen to it uh, a little later in May to see how things uh, transpire in your life and unfold. I also encourage you to listen to your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as they do give additional um, information uh, for your life. So what I did first was I pulled a, um, a planet card and a house card. For, you know, I asked Spirit. This, it's not necessarily, you know, your exact chart, but if you do follow astrology and um, it matches your chart, then that's just an, an extreme confirmation. Um, but what Spirit is saying, this, this is available to you. This is what's happening in your life right now. This is where Spirit would like you to focus so that you can move on to the next part of your life. You're transitioning. You're, you're moving on to the next uh, level, so to speak. And Uranus is a catalyst, eccentric in nature, the magician, so new beginnings, the awakener. You're being awakened, I feel, Pisces. You are being awakened to, to brilliance of who you really are. And it's a genius of the higher mind. So you're waking up, Pisces. It's time. It's time to wake up. And there's nothing to fear here. You're just becoming a different person. You know that you're the magician of your own life. You create your own reality. And you have infinite intelligence available to you. And you're feeling it like you're connecting with it. And if you aren't, Spirit is saying, do that. Listening to these types of messages helps. Helps me. I listen to other readers. It helps me expand my mind and, and, and learn new things. And so it's time to do that. It's time to go towards what you're interested in, to grow, to understand who you really are and why you came here. And house number two is the house of substance, individual value. So being confident in yourself, knowing that you deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve abundance. You deserve good health, Pisces. You deserve a peace of mind. Um, it, uh, money, talents, validation, ownership, self-esteem, and survival skills are highlighted here. So we're just going to read a little bit from the book. Uranus is a magical catalyst. As a planetary archetype, he doesn't obey man-made rules, for he's exceeded the limitations of ancient earthly boundaries as expressed by Saturn. The energy of Uranus flows beyond the continuum of time and space into pure creative energy. Being magical, he is off. He often denies a predictable outcome. As a marker of genius, this planet thinks outside the box. And as a ruler of mass consciousness, Uranus is the revolutionary force that fuels the human quest for self-determination. Uranus can be likened to a hurricane or an electrical storm manifesting wild winds and random lightning strikes into our lives. Maybe you're experiencing that right now, Pisces, or maybe you are that. Maybe you are the storm. It's going to flow through and change things. The storms of Uranus blow away old circumstances and situations. Sudden uprooting in our lives can be fresh and exciting or tumultuous and painful, depending on our resistance to change. Uranus is the planet that brings changes and ultimately freedom. So it's time to move with the changes, Pisces. Make those changes that you know. Move out of relationship situations that are not serving you. Let go of belief systems and toxic thoughts and really clean everything up because no matter what, the storm is blowing through or you need to be the storm and, and clear out all that doesn't serve you. Could be both ways. So um, it's time to let go of the old, let the tower fall and move into this brand new you know, existence because you are the magician, it's new beginnings. The second house is the point of manifestation. So that's what I mean, master manifestation time right now. You are creating your reality. Thoughts turn into things, Pisces, remember that. It's where free form vitality um, of the first house becomes solidified. The second house rules our requirements for physical substance. As human beings, our first need is for survival, food, water, and shelter. Be thankful for everything that you have, I hear. Just be great, grateful and you'll be given more things to be grateful for. The second house rules ownership and validation illustrating our desire for love and comfort. It also shows how they establish and build self-esteem and generate money. 
The multiple definitions of the word talent accurately express the scope of the second house. A special natural ability or aptitude, a power of mind or body. So this is what you have. You have this natural you know, way about you to know things and to move through things and to clear out things. So go within and, and, and do that for yourself. Listen to yourself. You know what the truth is. Like I always say in readings or anything, any, any advice people give you, take what resonates with you and just let the rest go. If it's not for you and doesn't resonate, it's not for you, you know? And that's okay. You know, everybody's doing the best they can. People in your life, they're trying to give you advice. You know, they're just trying to be nice. They're just trying to be loving. And they may not understand exactly where you are because they've lived a different life and they have a different perceptions, right? So we're all unique and it's time to listen to yourself. Go within and make choices for you. House number two expresses the essence of Venus, a planet of substance and adornment. This is a place where we learn to love and validate ourselves. Here we sustain life and even thrive. Physical security makes life predictable and allows for growth and cultivation of a sweet life. Resplendent with embellishments from our beautiful goddess Venus. So what I'm hearing is if it hasn't been really stable with money, that's coming. And you will have the stability and you will be able to grow in other aspects of your life because all your um, basic needs, everything that you need to live and survive will be taken care of. And it's time to enjoy the beauty in life. It's time to connect with your sensuality and be the god and goddess that you are um, and express that into the world. Because you are brilliant. I feel like for some of you, you're actually at that genius level. So please, please share with me, Pisces. Please, I encourage you to share and... You know, send me an email. Share me. Share with me what you've learned and how this resonates or comments. But if it's too long, I feel like someone out there has something to share, and I would I would love to hear it. Um, all my information is in the box below. For sure. Um, I'm also available for private meetings. So just message me. I would love that. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I just did Capricorn. So that this might be. I don't know, maybe you know a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart, but they got this is the first card they got as well. This is the Magical Creatures deck that I just got. I love them. The number two might be uh, significant to you as well, but this is cycles um, ending and things are changing like we know. So use this energy of Uranus to as a catalyst to get, to get this wheel moving because it's moving in your favor, but it's time to end some things and let go of some things that aren't serving you and, 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 and move forward into this new into this new life. Yeah, you're making progress. So just know that you're on the right path. You're making progress. So just keep moving forward. Have patience. Make decisions that are best for you, but you are making progress. So you're on the right track. Like I said, the wheel is turning. You're making progress in your life. You're moving through all of these things, making decisions for you, working on your craft. Somebody's working on something creative, working on... Um, being a master of their craft so keep going because it's it's all coming together for you and look at this okay so we're talking about partnership soulmate twin flame whatever you want to call it and the lover's card is here so it's a love is coming in if it's not here yet a love is coming in as long as you let some of these things go and make the changes or for some of you see it's going to be different for everyone so take what resonates with you for some of you a different story is that it's time You've made some progress within a relationship and it's time to make the commitment. It's time to, yeah, commit to this person because everything's changing in your favor and this is a, you know, divinely guided and faded. You know what I mean? It's very romantic. It's very loving. So it's time to make a decision. Perhaps there's kind of someone watching you guys, like a third party. Well, obviously, this is your higher self, spirit. You know, this is very divinely guided. There's also another person here, like watching. Maybe someone's famous, and and like they're watching, or your partner. I don't know. Somebody's watching and taking note. You're gonna be a living example of what true love is and how to live your life in an aligned fashion. So you're gonna have others looking at you, looking up to you, because you're being awakened. Yeah, it makes sense. You into this genius higher mind and sharing this information you're going to be you and your partner together united and even just you alone but even you then when you unite with this person 
allow yourself to unite, it's really going to, you're going to move forward with gusto. And like I talked about perception right before, I believe I said something about perception. It's just different. You come from different backgrounds. People, you know, are doing the best they can. So it's just um, allowing yourself to, you know, be in this hangman, see things from a different perspective, make your decisions, and then allow yourself to sit in it for a little bit. You know, you don't have to be hasty making this decision, but it is time to do it and allow yourself to feel the emotions and know what's best for you. And, um, you know, take that trip to Wonderland where everything is magical and you're manifesting everything you want. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be your divine partner coming through. Uh, it could be a king or a queen. doesn't matter, but, the, but more of a feminine energy is coming through. But this could either be you, Pisces, feeling grounded in who you are, loving, generous, abundant, and you're ready to share that with somebody else, or this is your divine partner coming in, and it's they are very grounded and abundant and stable and loving. So take it how it resonates with you. If you resonate with that Queen of Pentacles being you, um, then, then that's you. If not, that's your divine partner, and that's who's coming in, whether it be a masculine or feminine. It's just that queen energy, that very loving, generous, almost you know empress-like energy. Look at this. Yeah, clarity is coming. You I mean, is this it's a you're a, there's a lot of things changing. And you really are brilliant and you really do have things to share and you do have a lot to offer and you deserve everything that you want in the sun. You know, another 10 right under this 10. Okay? So like I said, major changes are happening. Completions allow these things to complete and be done because the sun is shining in on your life. That is one of the most positive cards in the deck and it really is they're very sober, these creatures, even though they're, they have very loving, good energy. But she's like the only one that's really smiling. So like spirit is sh like smiling in on your life and all these changes and want you to know how valuable you truly are. That you have what it takes. Yeah, nine of wands. You, you've got what it takes. You're strong enough to get through this. You, you just got a few more steps to go. Like you've got, you've got it. It's the endings of this and you're moving into dropping the burdens in this brand new life. So drop the burdens. You're strong enough. Don't worry about it. You've got this. You can make it through. That spirit's with you. The sun is shining in on this. You're making progress. Just keep going. Even if it seems hard, I know it does sometimes. It's challenging, but that's all part of the growth process. It's not meant to be easy all the time or we would never grow and learn and expand. So it's time for expansion, major expansion. And it really is about knowing who you really are and knowing how powerful you truly are and moving forward um, with that confidence. Yeah, it's time to step out of the delusions and make choices for yourself. You might, you know, you're, you're reminiscing and looking at all these options. Possibly you have a lot of options in love. You know, got a lot of people vying for your attention and, and, and trying to woo you and, and make advances towards you. And it's, it's time to, like, cut through the illusions. And, and you're kind of in la-la land here. And it's time to, like, get real and, like, make a choice. Because lovers is a choice in love. Make a choice in love. It's either a choice to leave your current situation because it's not satisfying. She doesn't look very satisfied. You know what I mean? And moving on to something that is satisfying because there's stability and abundance here and the sun is shining in on it. You're strong enough to do this if that resonates with you. Time to leave. Time to move on and allow yourself to see the truth with clarity because the sun is shining in, giving you that clarity to get over these illusions and, and just kind of uh, in la-la land. So it's time to move out of that, move out of the... The, the waters, Pisces, right, and come out fresh and new into this, um, into this clarity, and you know what, yeah, okay, wow, see, look, you're making progress, material world, your health, your finances, whatever, you're making progress in life, I'm feeling, in general, it's time to make the decision, because look, then you move on to the eight of cups, which is, um, transforming, spreading your wings, there's, there's transformation, death and rebirth, and you're, you're on a quest for your nine and ten of cups, right? You're on your quest to be in this partnership into or whatever it means for you. Moving on on your own. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be something different. But I feel like you're coming into union and it's time to make a choice of that. Maybe you've gotten caught up with reminiscing of the past. 
and all that's happened, you know, trying to help you make this decision, but it's time to just make a decision that's best for you and leave all this behind. This is a very peaceful letting go. Like you, you know that there's something more out there for you, more something more spiritual out there. This is a spiritual quest. It could be. It doesn't just mean in love, but it's a spiritual quest, and that's loving yourself to be able to leave all those other cups behind, learn from them, grow from them, but leave them behind and keep moving forward. They've taught you a lot. And it's okay. Be easy on yourself. You're doing the best you can. And there we, here we go. Another queen energy. So the queen of cups. Yeah, really tuning into your intuition. You know, Pisces, queen of cups. I mean, so I feel that this is you. And you could be uh, attracted to or with another water sign. But um, I feel like this is you. And you know. And it's time to go within and really get grounded in your emotions because the Queen of Cups is very grounded in, in her emotions. Very loving, very generous, you know, that caretaker type energy. And it's time to take care of yourself and nurture yourself and listen to your intuition because you have the answers within to help you move forward. So if we're talking about divine partnership, whether this be a masculine or feminine doesn't matter. So you could be, you could be coming into partnership with either another water sign or an earth sign or they have it in their chart, or it's, it doesn't have to be that way. It can just be the energy of this person, this this king or queen that's coming into your life is going to be very stable and grounded and help you with all these other things in your life. But I feel it's a very blessed union. And yeah, look at the bottom of the deck, another 10. So this is really time to end some things, Pisces. Time to time to end these cycles and um, and finally be free. And it could be stuff that's just stuck in your energy field. That's something from your childhood. It could be, sometimes we forget about these things. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest benefits for me of doing the healing work and taking different classes and, and learning and really connecting with spirit every day, all day, is that um, I understand all of this. And, so, and, and, and I forgot about things that I didn't realize that I'd hold, held on to since childhood and I was able to release those and let those go. So it could be, you know, just, you know, fighting with yourself, you know, confusing yourself, uh, being hard on yourself. It's time to let go of all that, lay the swords down, and finally end some of these, um, you know, belief systems that aren't serving you and move forward. So we're going to get a little more information here. Let's give a, I'd like a little more information on this, you know, nine of wands. What do we need to be strong about? Seven of cups. What are we in delusion about? And, you know, kind of the sword energy. So this is how to move through this. Is there anything more on this? Okay. It's a lot, but they said take it. Okay. So this is all about, uh, fives are all about change. As we know, a lot of change is happening, right? The cycles are ending. So, this queen of wands, see another queen comes through. There's a lot of queens. So if, if you're looking for a feminine, doesn't matter what you, you know, if you're male or female, there might be several choices in um, lovers. That's what I felt before too. So choose what's best for you. The queen of uh, wands is very passionate, makes decisions. So this could be also a message for you to be Go for your passion. Go for what that what feels good to you, what drives you, what makes you excited to wake up every morning. That's what you go for. That's what you're moving into. And it's this new, just, you know, lighting that fire within and move forward with confidence. Look, you have strength. You have spirit with you. You have the support. Move forward with confidence. You are on the right path. Just move forward with passion and drive and fire and this queen of um, queen of wands makes decisions and doesn't look back. So letting go and moving forward and don't look back. Be loyal to yourself. Honor yourself. Love yourself. You came here to experience love and to express love and to enjoy the journey for all of it, even the contrast. That's what you promised yourself, that you were going to make it through these cycles and you were going to enjoy the life that you know that you are meant to have and you are always going to choose yourself when it comes down to it. And it's time to choose you and be loyal to you. 
don't forget the eight, nine, ten. Okay, another ten. So when you start seeing ten, ten, you're on. That's like manifestations coming into reality. When you start seeing like ten, 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 but you've got four ten. So there's a. I mean, it's like cycle after cycle ending, and it can be overwhelming. So reach out to people. Go see a healer. Take time for yourself and go within. It really is time to nurture yourself, Pisces, to make it through. And don't forget who you really are. Don't forget why you came here. Don't forget what you came here to experience. And you came here for the journey. So enjoy it. And whatever that means to you. And, you know, a lot of a lot of signs have been getting this. It's time to break down the walls. Not be so rigid with yourself. Not be so hard on yourself. Not be so guarded with other people. And just allow this this clarity, this sun, this positivity, the healing that I'm sending you now, the healing that the universe has for you at all times, and just allow that to, you know, break down these walls. You know, like I feel like charging through the walls. I feel like Capricorn is very similar, I feel, that, um, just in case you're connected to a Capricorn. But look at all this light behind there once you break down the, law, the walls and all the healing that's for you. So it's just saying, Spirit's just saying let go. Let go. It's time to, you know, let go. Let's get a little more information here, Spirit. I'd like more information on Pisces Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partner, please. More information on the Divine Partner, please. They are summoning their inner power. They know that they're the magician, right? So you've got a perfect match coming in that's really working on themselves they're very stable. Four is about stability, and they're bringing stability into their own life so that they can share that with you. And they're asking you to, you can summon me by shining your inner light because I will follow that and find, you know, follow that home. Your light, be you being aligned and making choices for yourself that are best for you, letting go of the things that aren't serving you, um, updating your belief systems. And uh, in really moving forward with confidence is is summoning them to you. Whether you're in union or not, loving yourself and honoring yourself will always bring that that partner to you. Will always bring them up in vibration, lift them up. Your light shining is what's driving them forward and bringing them home. And they're wanting to be playful and flirt and look another four. We've got a lot of synchronicities here with numbers. Four, four, four. That's angelic guidance. The spirit is with you, and, and their message is they want to be playful. They like to be playful. They want to flirt. They want to go back to a time of innocence when you were younger, and like that's all that mattered, right? <laughs> Let go of some of the seriousness of life and just have fun with it. And, and, and go do things that you enjoy and you can just let your hair down. And that's what they'd like to experience with you because everything's going to be nice and stable and you're going to be able to enjoy um, and have a little more fun in your life. I feel it's time to have some fun. And they are a warrior. They're strong. They're stable. They're healthy. They're grounded. They care about themselves and they're, they'll be a warrior for you. They're, they're going to they're gonna fight for you. They, they want to fight for you. They've worked really hard on themselves and really, really worked on themselves, I feel. And they, they want to be there for you. They really do. They've had a lot going on in their life that they've had to work on. Let's see what else is going on. And, and they really just want you to know that they're strong and, and this, this, is, this is worth it. And look at that. Oh, my God, you guys. I can't make this stuff up. Another 10. Holy crap. So it is just one after another of cycle completion for you. I'm literally, you were moving into a brand new existence in love. And what did I say? This is what you came here to be, experience, and express is love. So love yourself, honor yourself, cherish yourself because that's what your partner's doing, and you will bring in the perfect match. If it's not there, and if you are in a partnership, your partner's working on this. They want you, they want to share love with you. Maybe it's hard for them, maybe, you know, because your walls are up and you're, and you're not allowing them to express themselves or you're not hearing them because of all this past sword energy that you just need to let go of and let that be completed. Sometimes even when we're not with people for a while, that past energy gets in our way for some reason and we just need to cut the cords and release. It's time to let go and let this love in. Oh my gosh, there's so much love for you. And yeah, they're saying, go meditate, go within. Like I said, the whole time, it's going to bring you answers. 
spirit is speaking to you, moving through you, and, and just meditate. When you're in meditation, when you're in dreamland, when you're daydreaming, you are connecting with your divine partner. So what are you thinking about? What are you sending them? Are you sending them love? Or are you sending them worry and doubt and, 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 um, and pushing them away? I mean, truly, it's up to you. You have the power and control to change your life. And um, just go within because you have all the answers. That's very beautiful, very beautiful. But, you know, if you need someone to talk to, definitely reach out to someone that's been through this. Like I said, a healer, someone, because it's, there's a lot of change happening. And, and, you know, we're human, so sometimes a lot of change, even if it's a lot of good, great stuff, there's a lot of change that's happening in my life, and it's going to change, and it's going to go fast, and it's it can be overwhelming, even if it's all good stuff. So just, you know, reach out, be honest with yourself, go take some time for yourself, take a take a bath with rose petals, feel like the god and goddess that you are, go, go out in nature, go fishing, go hiking, whatever it is that you like. See what the romance angels have to say here, you Pisces. Uh, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your partner. <laughs> Definitely hearing patience. This could be the one. Yeah, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. For a lot of you, you already have. It's You already know, and you already know the choice that you're going to make. And congratulations on that. Make the choice because it's worth it. And if you're not in it and you're the one walking away, this is what you're walking into is, is love and the one. And just be playful and have fun and be confident in yourself because confidence is sexy. It doesn't matter what shape or size or color or age that you are. Confidence is sexy. And it's a past life relationship. You've known each other before. So that's why you're going to feel at home with this person. That's why this person is so driven is a warrior to come share this love with you because they know they're like they know and you plan this well before this physical existence you plan this so it's it's you're gonna it's gonna feel like home it, it's gonna be everything it's gonna be passionate loving comfortable peaceful a little too many there's great and and just um very intuitive very psychic very uh, connected on every level Financial issues are a factor right now in your love life. This might be why you need to be patient. Like we got this for you is you're making progress. So just keep going. Just keep going. It's all coming together. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. It's safe. It's time to let those rigid walls down, right? And keep an open mind. Um, that the part your partner may be differ from you from your usual type so open up your mind to the differences love the differences because they will teach you they will teach you about yourself because we mirror one another we attract a partner to come in that mirrors us so we will you will mirror one another and make the effort it's worth it and go back to like I said the innocence be playful <laughs> be sweet write little notes these are fun notes are fun write a love note something sweet all right we're gonna pull one last card um, affirmations for the everyday goddess by Pamela Wells okay well we're gonna read from the book but I'm gonna take both to talk about it real quick what did I say what did I say a brand new life the fool you are ha have an opportunity for this brand new life. I ask the question to cultivate and, and like I said, keep an open mind. It's time to take that leap of faith. We're going to read this, but I'm going to show you what's right under it. Dun, 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 the lovers again. A confirmation. I see the divine in myself reflected in another. It's a very blessed time for you. It's time to, to make that choice. <coughs> Let go of fears. And to move forward because this is the divine partner that you've been dreaming of. This is faded and it's happening and it's very much protected. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful confirmation. Okay, this fool. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. Love this that you got the 
pool, and then you've got the magician right here, so you're just moving right along. This is awesome. The fool represents the beginning and the end. In order to begin, you must ask the question. In order to know, you seek to cultivate an open mind. The fool eventually asks, what do I need to know? In the end, you may find that you are back to a place you started, and you know who you are for the first time. The beginning of your life is full of questions and doubts. What will I be when I grow up? Who will I fall in love with? Will I be rich or poor? When will I die? If you find you have a need for truth and knowledge, then you will probably ask the question, what's my life all about? If you find yourself pursuing the answer to this question, you may be a seeker, and you will ask yourself many philosophical questions in order to comprehend your existence. It seems almost everyone desires a life filled with joy, freedom, and peace. Living life is a learning experience that always redirects you back towards the ultimate truth of your heart and mind's greatest fulfillment. It is always your choice whether or not you live your life consciously or unconsciously. That, like I said, being in the you know la la land, it's your choice. Do you want to be aware and and move forward on your divine path, or do you want to you know stay suspended in la la land? And it's the really it's up to you, and it's okay. You know, it's you choose what's best for you. Um, let's see. Most people are living life unconsciously between earth and heaven. This between place can be a place of confusion, doubt, emptiness, and fear. Because of this, the world is full of people endlessly grasping for and looking for fulfillment. The focus of these contemporary times has become the satisfaction of endless desires and results in much outer wealth, but very little inner wealth, joy, freedom, or peace. Moving into a life filled with joy is a result of turning inward and nurturing self-knowledge by consciously living at the pool. This is where you can begin to understand that you are both a human being and a divine being and that living between earth and heaven is, very, is a very precious gift. Choosing to live your life consciously is hard work, but it will bring you much joy, freedom, and peace. All of this hard work is a result of self-knowledge and wanting to know the meaning behind things. At the end of your journey, you will have learned who you really are. You will have understood the nature of the universe and you will have surrendered your life to God. Whether your own life is currently full of all the joy the world can offer or full of despair, there is no way to understand the human condition without a personal act of faith starting with the fool. It is a matter of your own free choice as to whether or not you want to begin the journey. It's always, always up to you always up to you choose you take that leap of faith because you're moving into the love of a lifetime and enjoying your life and feeling good and abundant and open and you're free the sun is shining in on you and I appreciate you all so very much I appreciate your subscriptions your likes your shares your comments I love hearing from you and I look forward to um, the stories that I feel like I'm going to get from somebody out there. Maybe several of you. I'm ready. And I thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.